Morning, peeps. Well, I say morning, it's about midday. So I'm just, uh, I'm allowed to break my fast. Although I didn't eat dinner till about 9.30 last night. I'm supposed to be finished by eight, but my friends were so late to the restaurant. Um, so what can you do? Uh, I stayed, I had a few drinks, but I stayed within my calorie amounts. That was good. Today, I'm really stiff. Um, and we only did like, a, not even a warm up yesterday. So I'm a little worried about how hard these workouts are going to be. Because if I'm stiff after a warm up, imagine how killer I'm going to be after an actual proper workout session. But I, I've got my first workout session in a couple of days. So I'm not going to work out today. So I think I'm going to, because obviously I've only got 1,200 calories. So I think I'm going to replace one of my meals with this. From Forza. I'll post a picture. Um, this is the banana one. And it's 200 calories. You just add water, really easy. And that is done and dusted for the day. So that's our breakfast. Stay tuned for lunch and dinner. It's all very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> The river. Lovely. I'm not going to get my fitness levels up today because I'm feeling very tired after a few vodkas last night. Still within my calorie quota, but still. So, a nice dog walk to clear the pipes. Smashing. So, it's my version of lunchtime, and I just cooked this yummy little number. Basically, I just um, fried half an onion, um, a clove of garlic, and I put some turmeric, because it's really good for you, chilli powder, because I like it spicy, uh, and paprika, and fried that down. Added some frozen peas and frozen sweet corn, and then made some fantastic, it's this stuff, organic edamame I'll take a picture so you can see it but it's um spaghetti made out of edamame so it's, made, it's like pasta but it's made from a vegetable it's amazing I highly recommend it yummy enjoy so it's my favorite time of day the time when I get to eat it's supper time and these are the ingredients for tonight's dinner. Veggies, coriander, my favorite, salmon. We're doing salmon teriyaki and making the teriyaki sauce from scratch. Stay tuned to find out how. We'll start by making the teriyaki sauce. And that basically consists of, I have gluten-free soy sauce, garlic, Ginger. It normally has brown sugar, but I'm trying not to have sugar. So I'm going to replace it with some amber organic honey, which will be yummy. A little bit of water in the bowl, just so that it's nice and moist. So we start. Here we go. I like my sauce quite potent, so I'm going to go in with a big clove of garlic. Amazing garlic crusher. I hated ginger for so much of my life, uh, up until probably I was about 30. Um, and I just, it's so good for you that I just started having it in the morning, like in a juice. And I just gradually grew to like it. Um, and, and now I love it. It's the strangest thing. It's like you can actually, oh, <laughs> there she blows. But you make yourself like something. If you just keep having it often enough, you, you resist, you get a sort of palate for it. Um, and if you don't believe me, think about the first bit of alcohol you ever had. It was probably pretty gross, 
but you keep drinking, keep drinking, and then you get used to it, and then you like it, and before you know it, you're craving a glass of wine at six o'clock every day. So loads of ginger, it's so good for you. Filming Slim's Good Eating, it is, you know, a sort of environment, breeding ground for all sorts of bugs and colds and stuff. So I try and have a juice every morning, and it, honestly, it keeps me, it keeps me well. Um, throw in loads of soy sauce. And now we're gonna, oh, I'm gonna put in a big teaspoon of honey. There we go. Transfer it to a pan and then the honey will melt and it'll start to simmer and caramelize and it'll just be really delicious. Oh, but one thing I have forgotten because what I absolutely adore, chili flakes. Look, I'm nearly at the end of my chili flakes, but I like it spicy, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some flakes in there and I'm gonna put some flakes in again at the end. So right, we put this in the pan. Turn that down a bit, actually it's a bit hot. And that is going to sizzle along nicely and create the perfect sauce for my salmon. And here it is, all plated up and ready to go. Dinner is served. <laughs> Dinner has been eaten. That was one of the nicest suppers I have had in a very, very long time so I highly recommend that recipe it was brilliant and the whole thing came in at 353 calories that's it I actually can't believe that that is insane it was so yummy I'm perfectly full I feel great yeah I highly highly recommend that one yay what a great day okay,